All right, uh, today uh, I got a call from a tenant that the uh, dishwasher is not draining. And that's the uh, Camor dishwasher. All right, and it's a pretty standard dishwasher. And uh, uh, it's the serial number. But I don't think that's the main point. I think they all pretty much have the common problems here. Um, now what you're seeing right now is that the problem's already fixed. I'm just uh, video recording it so that I can document the fix. Uh, when I came in here, when I removed this rack, uh, there's a lot of uh, water down there. Okay, and I noticed that. And um, what I did is I cleaned it up using uh, paper towels and stuff like that. Um, whoa. Okay some buzzing sound from my phone sorry about that and I actually uh, took out this uh, this blade right here it's actually if you use both hand underneath it there's a little latch right here on both sides if you pull it with both hands and you can just pop this right out and you can remove this ring also uh, pretty standard I mean I clean it up uh, found some some minor debris there so that was one and then what I did to find a real problem is I come down here and there's the sink and there's the garbage disposal and on the top you see that uh, there are two wires this is the uh, by the way this is a uh, Badger 500 uh, disposal and I personally installed it before uh, about uh, maybe three or four months ago and it's all fine until today she called me that uh, uh, the dishwasher is not draining so this upper hose here this is the hose that goes to the dishwasher comes into that's the draining hose by the way uh, goes from the dishwasher and comes into this uh, garbage disposal so what I did is that I disconnected the, the hose right here one screw removed it and then I run I ran the dis, uh, the dishwasher uh, and I what I did is that I put a a draining pan down here okay so I catch the water with that hose disconnected okay and I I just you know turn on the dishwasher and I see that the water is flowing out of this tube with not without any problem so uh, I know that it is not the, the clogged tube like uh, many uh, website has documented uh, nothing's clogged in that tube even though you see the little gunks uh, at the end of the tube but uh, um, nothing's wrong with the tube it's flowing very very nicely so the only problem I can uh, see is the fact that the water going in here is not coming inside of this washer all right so I did some more re research uh, online and I uh, look at the uh, uh, installation manual of the Badger 500 which I did install about four or five months ago and you know what I found out turns out that there is a plug inside of this washer that you're supposed to knock it out tap it out with a screwdriver and hammer um, if you do have a dishwasher it needs to be connected and I did not do that I did not do that and that's the problem and so what I did is that uh, instead of taking the dishwasher out I just kept the dishwasher exactly this way I, I'm sorry the uh, disposal this disposer exactly this way uh, did not uh, rotate or move it and all I did is remember I unplugged this uh, hose here and all I did is I use a uh, screwdriver insert it into this this uh, opening here and use a hammer just tapped it and it turns out to be surprisingly very easy I mean it just took me maybe like three taps um, and I I felt that uh, the cap was being knocked out and this is the cap this is what it looks like okay it's a little plastic thing that uh, you know blocks that uh, hose there and uh, so no water can come in and, and it's there because uh, in case you don't have this washer and it this tap just stays there all right but if you do have this washer uh, you're supposed to knock it out and uh, I thought I thought it installed uh, numerous dishwashers in my past um, but I never knew that this piece actually needs to be tapped out all right so once I tapped out, um, 
come back to the top of the, the disposal and I reach down there and I that's the way I found this piece I took it out and I throw it into the trash can okay and now you know there's an opening from that hose into the disposal and what I did is I to test it out making sure that that is the fix I put everything back close out this washer and I just set it this to um, quick rinse and do a start so the water started flowing there and just let it do it for a few minutes a few seconds as a matter of fact and I do cancel on this thing if you come over here look at that it's water flow right into the garbage disposal and it wasn't like that before because that plug was not tapped in and now it is clear and that is the reason that the garbage uh, I'm sorry that the uh, dishwasher was not draining and now shut it off open it up no water all clear so that was the problem of this issue and uh, it took me uh, probably like 45 minutes to to get it fixed but the, the, the biggest time I used was to find out what's wrong with it and to figure out how do I uh, tap that uh, the cap uh, break break that tap without uh, removing my garbage disposal because that could be time consuming and I, I did it just as I said leaving the garbage disposal as it is and use a uh, screwdriver insert it to the back and touch tap three times and it worked okay so I uh, hope this helps you guys too Bye-bye.